going on, Black Stars? So I took a couple weeks off to focus on a few other things, and now I am back. I uh, just wanted to share with you a few uh, a few ideas that have been rumbling around in my brain, and uh, I've got way more than what is going to fit on this video for now. But I want to talk to you about the idea of dogma once again. We've talked about this a few times in the past, and I want to cover it again. You see, there's there's this idea out there that um, that, that we practice a set of techniques that have been uh, constructed in the, the perfect way to, to achieve the, the goal the right way and blah blah blah. There's a term for that, it's called heuristics. It's an imperfect approximation rule of thumb really uh, based on experience that gives you a key to how things should go. If you become dogmatic about heuristics, you're becoming dogmatic about something that is in and of itself imperfect. Now, if you understand the nature of life, really, but if you understand the nature of violence, conflict, uh, fitness, human development, psychology, you're going to understand that there is no perfect approach. So becoming dogmatic about anything, really, is committing yourself to imperfection. But beyond that, committing yourself to rules of thumb about things that are already imperfect puts you even further from the idea. You cannot become dogmatic about any of it. You know, you find something that works, you run with it for a while, and then you got to change it up because circumstances are as variable as, I mean, as is imaginable. It's literally infinite, at least on the, on the, on the theoretical quantum scale and all that. Um, so you have to understand that committing yourself to a path, while on the one side consistency is extremely important, the other side, you have to be able to adapt to the circumstances as they change. You have to be able to say, well, this rule of thumb is generally good, but there are exceptions. You have to understand that exceptions exist and will always exist, and you will not find a perfect one-size-fits-all, one-and-done type solution. That's just simply not how it's going to be. So you gotta, you got to dump off this idea that, that your heuristics, that your rules of thumb that your, your training modalities are the be-all and end-all of it. it. It's just not possible. Train hard, but train as variably as possible. And really what I recommend, train chaotically. Once you reach past those, those, those basic foundational levels where you're literally just working on learning how to stand and walk and punch and kick and walk, when you get past the, the rudimentary just technique of it, because you do have to learn some of that stuff, it's just learning how to deal with the tools you're given, you got to start working into more chaotic type circumstances. It doesn't have to be all out full bore chaos, but start randomizing things, start making things more playful. Because the more that you play, the more that you randomize, the more that you allow chaos to infect the system, or to rather naturally flow through the system like it would, you'll find that what you are working on locks into your nervous system and ready to use far, far better. It's, it's just a, a, a neurological, psychological fact that the way that you store information is going to be the way that you bring it up uh, for use later. So you have to introduce the information in, in patterns, in ideas, in methodologies, that will translate more directly to the circumstances that you are expecting or in some cases not expecting to face. So there you go. Don't be dogmatic and play and revel in the chaos. I will talk to you guys later. Good journey.